Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LAs.com. Today we've got our 21 here in the shop. I'm gonna be showing you how to install this awesome Gen 2 Raptor LED grill light kit here right in the grill and it gives the truck a great aesthetic upgrade. Kind of gives it that a uh, little bit of an aggressive touch. Plus it's gonna make you and your family more noticeable to other drivers out on the roads, which is always a good thing for your safety and for theirs. So we're gonna show you how easy it is to install right now. When installing our Gen 2 Raptor kit, you've got a lot of options because the kit is versatile, meaning you could go with a three light, four light, or even five light if that was your preference. Today we're gonna to be doing a three light install and we're gonna be mounting them right here at the top of the grill, one, two, and three. That's kind of our standard install, uh, but you'll see a lot of people use four or five sometimes as well. So the first thing that we need to do is run our lights through this grill here so that we can run the uh, connectors up into the engine bay. Okay, and once we get that done, we're gonna use our surface promotion wipes to clean our mount areas. We'll remove this uh, protective layer from our auto adhesive grade uh, backing, and then we'll mount the lights directly. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with uh, this light here. So you can run the connector through the opening. And again, your grill variant might be a little bit different but the overall install is gonna be very much the same. Okay, so we've got our light ran through the grill where we're gonna mount it, and now we've got our uh, harness here coming out into the engine bay. You can use some uh, wire pliers or something like that just to make it a little easier to grab uh, through this opening here. Let's go ahead and run this light. Now we'll grab our third light. This is gonna be our center. Let's see. You might have to, on this center one, because of the latch mechanism, you may need to run, route your wire out to the side. Now that we've got our uh, wiring routed into the engine bay, let's go ahead and, and use our surface adhesion promotion wipes. You're gonna wanna wipe down the mount location real well. And while that dries, we can peel off the protective layer here on our automotive grade adhesive on the backing of our lights. Now we can go ahead and mount our lights directly up under the grill here. A little bit of a tight squeeze of your fingers. But you want to make sure before you push all the way up, because this adhesive is very strong, that you get it centered inside your grill. And inside that particular column on this model. And then just apply pressure up for about 10 to 15 seconds. And we'll do the same thing for these lights. And now for our last light. Okay, so now we've got our lights mounted inside the grill and we've got our harness, our light harnesses run into the engine bay. So now we just need to uh, use the harness for our Raptor kit to connect to these lights to the truck's power. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slack out of uh, the wires for the lights that we just installed in the hood. I'm going to take a, one of the included zip ties here and just tie them together because I don't want any of this, any wires falling back into uh, your grill because of active shutter systems or any other mechanical aspect that we don't want to be interfering with. Okay, so that'll just keep, again, the slack from falling into uh, the grill. So now we're gonna take our three light connectors, waterproof connectors, and we're gonna connect them to the, uh, our Raptor, the power harness. Connect all three lights, make sure that you've got the full click in. It's gonna, if it doesn't click all the way, then it won't be seated all the way and sealed. There you go. So now all three lights are uh, fully connected. So now all that we need to do is run our power side of our harness here down in behind our headlight because we're going to use our easy quick splice connectors to connect to our side marker uh, socket. To gain access to our side marker bulb here, the first thing that we need to do is pull back on this wheel well liner. There's four bolts, two here on the wheel well liner itself, and then two here up on the uh, fender hub of the truck. So we're gonna use a size seven socket. You can also use the Phillips head screwdriver to remove those four bolts. And then we'll peel back the wheel well liner and have access to our side marker light. With our bolts removed, we'll be able to pull the wheel well liner 
away from the fender of the truck. You can kind of lift up and peel down. There's a little bit of a ledge here underneath the fender, like so. And now, kind of just from the bottom front end, just kind of peel it and roll it over your front tire here. And that will give us access here to our side marker light. It's difficult to show on camera because of the tight spot, but we've got it set up. This plug here is the power connector for your headlight assembly. And right above it, right here, where my finger is pointing, this is gonna be your front side marker uh, socket. So you can grab that socket and with a counterclockwise turn, it will release and you can pull it directly out. To connect to power for our Raptor grill kit, we're gonna use this power and ground wire that's connected directly to the socket for our side marker light. Okay, so to connect these two wires, we're gonna be using our easy quick splice connectors. So they're very easy to use. You're just gonna take this uh, outside open channel, you're gonna slide it over the har socket harness wire for the truck, and then we're just gonna route our rafter harness into the other side, other opening of this quick splice connector. And then you're just gonna take some pliers and we're gonna put pressure directly down on this uh, metal tab. Push in, just like so. So now both wires are connected. And now we're gonna connect our ground to the other side. And this wire has a black strip, so we're gonna go black to black. If you have trouble getting the wire into this opening channel, you can use a flathead screwdriver just to kind of pre-open this easy quick splice connector. We got it on there easy. Now we're gonna put our black wire up into this other open channel. And again, take our pliers, put the pressure right down on this tab. Oops. Just like so. So now we're connected for power. We'll be able to reinstall this side marker light. And whenever the side marker lights are powered on, our Raptor grill lights will be as well. Okay, so that's all there is to getting our Gen 2 Raptor grill light kit installed here on your 21 and up Ford F-150 series truck. Now remember, this kit is very versatile, so you can go with three or four light pattern, you can go amber or white, plus it's gonna work on any grill that you have, okay? Because it gives you the versatility to mount in different spots depending on that different unique grill that your specific F-150 has. It's a great, great upgrade to the aesthetic front end of the truck. Looks even better in person than it does on camera and in pictures. We highly recommend it and guarantee that you're gonna love it. You can check it out at F-150LAs.com where you'll find all of our custom built LED lighting products built specifically for your Ford F-150 and Super Duty trucks. We truly appreciate your support, we really do, and we look forward to seeing you at F-150LAs.com soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.